एक्सलेंट ऑपरेशनल परफॉर्मेंस स्ट्रॉन्ग ऑर्डर बुक जीएमएम फॉर्डलर ए कंटेंडर फॉर मार्केट अपग्रेड एंड री रेटिंग जीएमएम फॉर्डलर the indian subsidiary of us parent fodler inc does the unthinkable in february 2021 it picks up 54% stake in the us parent and doesn't stop there it goes ahead and acquires the non controlling interest of 46% in september 2022 and thereby converts fodler inc the holding company into its wholly owned subsidiary gets unlimited access to technology and reach to the vast global market jmm fodler fundamentally very strong in terms of a growing equity has accumulated debt long term portion is around 800 crores wants to be debt free by fy28 profitability more particularly during last 3 years has helped the company report a return on equity far in excess of 25% jmm fodler has a strong cash flow generating from operations sizable amount growing progressively year after year consistently absorbing working capital changes and making available adequate funds sizable at that for purposes of acquisition and purchase of fixed assets revenue growth during the last four quarters has remained quite impressive it has grown by around 25% quarter on quarter every quarter and its ebitda percentage during the last four quarters has remained above the corresponding ebitda for the previous four quarters indian operations contribute about a third of revenue but over half of profits being more profitable and balance revenue and profits are contributed by company's overseas operations private equity dbag holds fodlers holding of 50.4% it sold the first part of its holdings in september 2020 in an offer for sale 18% at a massive discount of 33% to the market high after the price went up in december 2022 once again it sold through market operations 17% at a discount of 18% to market high currently dbag has got a balance of 15% holding in gmm fodler Promoters hold about a quarter. DIIs, mutual fund, and FPI hold almost 30 percent. Balance is with the retail. Concern is after the recent sale by DBAG, the market price has further gone down. Notwithstanding the good performance reported by the company, market is worried as and when the market price goes up, DBAG may enter to offload its holdings, which might push the price further down, and that is a matter of concern. the market capitalization of jmm fodler particularly after the december 22 stake sale at a discount has almost stabilized at 6500 crore level and this stagnation along with improved earnings during the year has impacted the pe multiple and brought it down to a level of around 30 which makes it quite attractive and inexpensive similarly price to book value ratio appearing attractive on an equal footing quite evident from the daily chart of gmm fodler the price is appearing below short medium and long term averages and the current market price is closer to recent lows ever since march 2020 the share price of gmm fodler has remained in an ascending channel continuously going up but the open market operations in december changed the trend the price moved from ascending channel into a descending channel and it has decisively crossed below the lower band of ascending channel suggesting travel into the bearish zone but with the volumes being low the momentum is naturally quite weak gmm fodler gains prominence as it manufactures process equipments for the pharma and chemical industries across the globe with 16 manufacturing units across india china us and europe jim fodler is both a market leader and technology leader in glass lined equipments which form about 60% of its revenue it has invested heavily in other product lines like mixing and filtration and to the credit of jmm fodler is its unblemished record of operations and growth over 50 years recent quarters jmm fodler has been faced with rising input costs 
and a slowdown in the capex cycle of pharma and chemical industry but it's quite hopeful that the capex up cycle for both pharma and chemical is likely to resume very soon with the technology and ownership in its stride gmm fodler has been quite confident in its guidance for fy25 with a revenue of 3700 crores ebitda 630 crores and return on capital employed 25% if performance of fy23 is an indication it is highly probable that gmm fodler will achieve these figures with ease and by far in favor of gmm fodler are the three strengths global leadership in technology and market strong financials and confident guidance concerns are prices in a descending channel and the risk of debag stake sale as and when the price moves up hope this presentation on gmm fodler was up to your expectations i am vithal prabhu with the weekly video on stock learning simplified you can access videos with similar content at our info card on stock learning simplified we look forward to your likes shares and comments if you are new to the channel may please subscribe and press the bell icon for timely intimation on our forthcoming videos for your valuable time and kind support highly obliged this video is for purposes of information education and awareness only this is not meant to be a solicitation or recommendation to buy sell or hold securities wherever applicable please seek the advice of a competent professional before taking action of any kind